Guess what? Your small business can benefit from big data. Data analytics is transforming every industry, and it's not just for big corporations. I'm Khalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. My guest today is Don Anderson. He's Executive Chairman of Market Research Services Limited. And make sure you watch this video to the end because we have a giveaway question. <laughs> Well, it's my pleasure to have Don Anderson with us. Hi, Don. Hey, Glido. How are you Boy, doing, man? Big man. Boy, <laughs> big pressures. Yeah, you're the man yeah, who has man. all the data, all the numbers. You do the research and you've earned yeah. your reputation, Thank you very I must much. say. Thank you very so, much. So tell me, what is <clears throat> data analytics? What's big data? Um, first of all, as you know, in the market research profession, we, we manage and we handle a lot of data. All right? So... From my perspective, I'm into data analysis. And for much of the years that I've been in market research, I've been involved in data analysis. You know, so we generate surveys and we put out reports and we tell people what is, what is wrong. So data analytics basically focuses on pulling out from existing data mainly, but not exclusively what you have and making it far more meaningful. Okay, so you don't have to do additional research. You, it's what you, you already have. Not necessarily. You can, but to a large extent, it is what you have. And depends on how you set it up. You know, you could set it up so that whilst you're capturing new data, it is actually working on that data itself. You know? So when people talk about big data, now, big data is to a large extent, as the term says, a mass of information that mm. you have. But a mass of information that you have is really not so useful unless you can really nuts and bolt pull that apart and say, really, I have a lot of data, but what does it really mean? And here's where research companies are now moving into a new environment of data analytics. Mm -hmm. So people know you from not just market research for businesses but also political polls so what has your experience taught you about the benefits of data analytics well you know to, to a large extent it focuses on what businesses are doing and how businesses can make their their bottom line better in in whatever dimensions you want to consider that so it can be used in a political environment but to a large extent where data analytics is right now is looking at businesses and how businesses can turn around their situation. Give me an example. Okay, let me personalize it. Every time I go on my Amazon account, it is telling me what I've bought in the last three years. Mm -hmm. It is telling me, you know, you look like you're interested in this particular area. Hmm? So it can capture a lot of information about your buying patterns that becomes in itself a predictive tool. Mm -hmm. So it can say, well, you know, Kalila is accustomed to buying beautiful shoes, size, etc. Da, da 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 da. You know, <laughs> and so let me introduce her to a number of new items that she may be interested in because I can reflect upon what she has done, what she has bought, when she has bought, the prices she has paid, and therefore I can therefore reach out to her a lot easier. Mm -hmm. In the absence of that, you're saying, who should I target? How should I target? So the data analytics really brings home to almost an individual perspective, people who you want to market to. So that, that example is done with technology. So they track everything. You have the cookies on the website and everything is tracked. All your purchases all are, are all tracked. But if I'm a, I'm a small business and I don't have access to, to all of that, how can I use data analytics? Well, there is really no difference in the application of data analytics by size of business. The drawback is the capability of the smaller business to have organized data that can then be exposed to data analytic techniques. That's the difference. Because as long as you have a business and you have data, I mean, we talk about big data, yes. Well, mm -hmm. Big data really means that you have a lot of information that is at your disposal, basically. And the bigger the data, the more complex the procedure becomes mm -hmm. because you have to wait through so much more. But a small business could benefit from 
data analytics in the same way by being organized. So mm. the, the problem is a lot of small businesses aren't organized in terms of their data capture to be able to take advantage of it. But I would say that there's a different approach to big businesses vis a vis small business. Big businesses obviously have more data and the, the thing becomes more complex. But the techniques will be the same. But if you have a, a website for your business, mm -hmm. you can track which pages are most popular easily, right? Yeah. So you can, you can, individuals can use it very easily, you know, um, but it's a question of how your data is organized because a lot of companies, even big companies, have a lot of data, but for, for them to really apply data analytic techniques, they really need some software, some new command languages, that type of thing to be able to massage the information and to pull it out and make a lot more meaning of the information. It's really getting to the gravamen of what it is saying. Mm -hmm. And that will impact how you market, how you reach out, how you communicate, that kind of thing. What are some of the key points of information that you'd want to look out for? It's really consumer behavior, you know. Consumer behavior. Because once you have a good track of consumer behavior, so I individualize it, but you can look at groups of people, cohorts, age cohorts, for example, and you can say, well, you know, this particular age group tends to buy a particular way on a particular day, in a particular manner, and they pay a certain amount of money for that kind of data. It is limitless and obviously varies based on the kind of industry and the kind of business that you're in. But are there popular online tools that people use? Apart from the kind of techniques that are applied, I and mean, it, is a, it, is a, it is a pretty wide range of techniques that are used. You know, you have descriptive techniques, you have all kinds of predictive techniques and so on. And to a large extent, all of them rely upon getting some really good IT knowledge mm. that will actually be able to massage that data, to pull out that data, to organize that data, and to really then make meaning of that data so that you can use it. Yeah. You know? So I don't want to particularly point to a technique per se, because it really depends on your ability to harness, first of all, the data, and then to look at what you have and say, what do I really want out of this? Because you need to know what you want before you can actually determine what you want, or how you're going to get what you want, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, what we find a lot of HR practitioners are using it because they, they feel that and they have proven by scientific ways that I can determine to a large extent what kind of employee a particular person is going to become. Mm. Yeah, you know? How so? Hmm. Well, when you come into the organization, obviously they capture a lot of information about you. And by looking at your work performance over periods of time, taking into consideration customer satisfaction surveys that have been done and that type of thing, they can, they can basically look at the modeling that they have done and say, well, you know, this particular individual has shown certain traits that can help me to help them develop into a top manager. And therefore, you find that Data analytics is something that a lot of HR practitioners are using and actually building packages on their own and selling to companies on the basis that this can lead to improved performance on the job, could build up people's um, 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 capability, and in the long run, redound to the benefit of the organization by having a much better, more efficient employee. Mm -hmm. So that's another use to which it is being put, and HR practitioners are actually packaging and selling a lot of the data analytic tools that they have used to get to that point, right? But, you know, it, it, it's so easy. Let's, let's look at a man applies to a particular card. When he's applying for that card, he has to fill out his date of birth, his age, his everything. Your whole life story. Whole life story. <laughs> and you think, well, boy, there's a lot of tedium to go through to be able to buy something from a particular organization. And it is. But that data is captured. It's captured. So. You go to a particular outlet that uses this card and you swipe it because you're buying something. All that information comes up as a repository in the organization that, that you are affiliated with. And what happens is that um, they can see, okay, over the period of a month, you have made five purchases at a particular point in time. And what it is, what it is doing at the same time is narrowing down that marketing possibility so that it says, this is the type of person that I can reach by this way at this time, etc. Fast food restaurants, they capture behavior patterns so they know what kind of meal to prepare. So 
all of these tools are being used to allow companies to better market to their clients and short circuit. It can fine tune their, 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 their actual communication message even, you know, so that when you're looking at um, they launching a new campaign, it can tell you what's the kind of messaging that's important. Politi politicians should have used that in the last election. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yeah. Because one of the things that I have consistently said to one of the parties is that messaging is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know what your message is, if you don't have a message to reach, you're not going to communicate. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of political parties are using is this kind of data. Analysis of text messages. Of, this is the more qualitative side of it. The quantitative side, we're looking at a lot of numbers. But in terms of content, you could do a lot of deep research into content, into text messages, into what people are saying, and that will, that will guide you based on the profile of the individuals that you have in your database as to what's the right message to use. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Don. But before we go, we have a giveaway question. What do you see as one benefit that you would derive from using data analytics? in your own business. So answer that question over on Exim Bank's Instagram page at Exim Bank JA and you can win yourself a lovely prize. Now here's a recap of Don's main points on data analytics. It's important to organize your data. Information about consumer buying patterns can be used as a predictive tool and data analytics can help you to fine tune your messages and target key components of your market. And there you have it. You can use big data for even bigger returns, giving you a more efficient and profitable business. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you by Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit their website at EximBankJA.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.